So let me show you how the web application works. But please keep in mind that both technically and methodologically we can still make a lot of improvements. As you can see we're using a web browser. Here it is Chrome, but you can use any browser. And on this screen you can see four main panels. To the left you see the data panel, in the middle the multi-criteria evaluation panel, and to the right you get the spatial view on top, and below it you have the spatial information panel. Let's start in the multi-criteria evaluation panel, where we structure our decision problems. Here we have our hypothetical decision problem, which is to identify countries with high potential for change due to environmental impact and good governance. I have already prepared a criteria tree. Here the first main objective is to identify countries with good governance and we're using the World Bank's World Governance Indicators. And the second main objective is to ensure environmental sustainability and here we use the United Nations Millennium Development Goal number 7 indicators. Note that for the sake of this short demonstration we are not using the complete indicator set sets. Next we have a look at what we mean with these objectives. We unfold the first objective and see the world governance indicators of political stability, corruption, rule of law, government effectiveness, regulatory quality and accountability. And if we unfold Millennium Development Goal 7, we find three sub-objectives or targets as they are called in the Millennium Development Goals, each with their own indicators. Let me open them. One target is still missing, which I'm going to add now. I add an objective and I'm going to write target 7D which is achieve improvement of 100 million slum dwellers lives Then I add a criterion or indicator and I write slum population in urban areas in oops percent. But this indicator should be interpreted as less is better. We now turn to the data panel. Here you can connect to data offered online by what are called web feature services. You enter the address of the services and click on search. From the service you will receive some technical information and a list of layers offered. I'm interested in the layer about the world's indicators. That layer gives a number of maps. Clicking a thumbnail map gives summary statistics. Here we see the access to drinking water. But we can also show the thumbnails in the spatial view. And likewise we can drag them into the criteria tree. I have completed the criteria tree and next I give importance to the different objectives and criteria. In this prototype weights are calculated based on the order in which objectives and criteria are listed on the screen. Let's see what giving more priority to the governance situation leads to. We select create index map by weighted summation. Now we want to see the results. The output map is showing countries with higher index values in yellow greenish colors 
and with lower values in reddish colors. Now let's zoom into the Arab Peninsula and look at the spatial information for the Emirates.